What's going on everyone? My name is Ty Pellier and welcome back to another great video. Alright, so it has officially been two weeks since completing 75 hard, so I wanted to do a little two week after review to kind of see where I'm at right now. So let's dive in. So this challenge not only changed my life and helped me lose over 35 pounds, but most importantly, helped change my bad habits and the personal growth that came with it. Now, obviously I didn't really hold back once this challenge was completed and over with. The day after it was all over, my friend and I drove out to Kelowna for August long weekend where I had my first official cheat meal, which was a Big Mac. Hi, can I order a Big Mac and just the burger? Thank you. Bag secured. All right, first cheat meal after 75 hard. You gotta go with the classic Big Mac. I mean, how can you turn down the classic Big Mac bun as well as the Big Mac sauce? Let's just say 75 was definitely worth it for this moment. That Big Mac tasted so good. You could say I indulged in the drinking, obviously. I have a problem. But I enjoyed the eating a hell of a lot more. Yeah, I went crazy for the long weekend as expected, but didn't want to get too caught up in the unhealthy habits once the vacation was over. When I left to Kelowna, I weighed in at 168 pounds. Five days later, a bad dieting and tons of drinking, obviously, I skyrocketed up to 180 pounds. I was blown away. But then also remember that a lot of that probably had to do with the water retention that I was holding. Now, over a week later, I'm sitting at a comfortable 174 pounds. I'm back to working out six days a week and back on a clean eating diet, with the exceptions of cheat meal Sunday and the odd few drinks that I'll probably have on the weekends. Now, the biggest takeaway wasn't really the dieting or the two-day workouts or the daily reading or the absence of alcohol and cheat meals. It was really just about becoming the best version of myself through mental and physical health while being disciplined in the process. And since completing this challenge, I've had more and more people reach out to me over social media, telling me that I've either motivated them to get off their couch and go work out or go for a run, or even start this 75 hard challenge. Each day it seems like I'll get a new message asking for what my workout routine was or what my dietary plans were. It makes me extremely happy knowing that I've motivated people to kind of get back in shape and get back to that healthy lifestyle from simply doing a little TikTok challenge. I mean, I didn't do 75 hard for the recognition part of it, but simply to better myself moving forward. And if I can motivate someone along the way, then I'm clearly doing something right. If Ty Pellier can do it, then anyone can do it. Now, my opinion hasn't changed much on the 75 hard challenge. It was still something that I knew I needed to do and hold myself accountable throughout the process of 75 hard. As long as I don't go back to eating like garbage and maintain a healthy and active lifestyle is going to be the real challenge now that 75 hard is over. Everything in moderation is key. Now, if you guys are interested in doing this 75 hard challenge or just looking to kind of get back in shape, please don't hesitate to reach out to me with tons of questions. Honestly, I'd love to help out as much as I can. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below it means the absolute world to me so anyways thanks for hearing me ramble i'll see you guys in the next video